welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to create an interactive Excel chart graphing the Poisson distribution's cumulative distribution function. Let's compare the cumulative distribution function to the probability density function. If we scroll up the page, we can see an example of the Poisson distribution's probability density function. It's a discrete, not continuous, but discrete bell-shaped curve, sort of. Let's scroll back down to our continuous distribution function, and there's one parameter in the Poisson distribution, the mean number of events that occur over a certain period of time. We change that and watch the interactivity be reflected in the chart, changing from 9 to 15. Move the chart to the right, and let's put our original 5 back in there. That's what we're going to create. So now we need to create the x and y axis data. First, we're going to create everything, in the, everything for the x axis. First cell has a value of 0. Second cell equals the previous cell plus 1. We're going to drag that formula down. So first center that. And to drag a formula down, just click on the cell and then put the cursor in the corner until you see that X and drag it down until we have from 0 to a value of 25. Okay. Now we're going to take a look at the Y axis data. Let's take a look at that formula. That's what's in cell C101. That's the cumulative distribution formula in Excel. And that true indicates that it's the cumulative distribution. Now what we're going to do is uh, take a look at the inputs for that. The only inputs are the mean and the x-axis data as it should be. Okay, let's drag that formula down. First remove the blue color so we don't drag blue color down. And then put the cursor in the corner and drag the whole cell down. There we have the x and y-axis data. Okay. So now we're going to make the chart pretty straightforward. This is Excel 2003. Let's so put the cursor wherever you want. And go hit insert, then chart. And it's an area chart. That would be the first variation of the area chart. Hit next. And the data is in columns. And we're going to add the one and only series of Y data. So hit add. And then we're going to name that the probability of up to x given the mean. And remember, the Poisson distribution calculates the probability of a certain number of events occurring if the frequency of occurrence is predicted by the Poisson distribution. Okay, and there's one parameter, the mean number of events over that period of time. Now let's put the values for the y-axis in. Delete what's in that cell, then hit the square in the corner there, and select all of the y-axis data, everything in that column of data, and then go hit the square in the corner of that dialog box. And you see the y-axis data is in there. Okay, let's do the same thing for the x-axis. Hit the square and go select all of the data for the x-axis then hit the square in the middle of the dialog box there and the values go into the into the graph. Hit next and we're going to put the chart title in. That would be the Poisson distribution cumulative distribution function and once we type that in there we will see that that will be immediately shown on the chart as the title. After you hit enter having a bad typing day today. Okay, Hit enter and there it is on the chart. Category x-axis, x. Next, hit finish. There's our chart. And let's drag our chart up and drop it on top of the original chart that we had on the page. And vary the mean, the one parameter, and see if that uh, is reflected into the chart to, to verify that we have made the chart correctly. OK, let's vary the mean from 5 to 15. Should move the chart to the right. There it is. Then back to 5, or to 9 and then back to 5. Hey, okay, it looks like we've made the chart correctly. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master series of emanuals at www.excelmasterseries.com/emanual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.